Hey everyone, uh, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. I am here with another video. I'm going to show you guys how I use one of my favorite irons, the Marcel iron. This iron is pretty polarizing. You either love it or you hate it. I am part of the love crew. I love this iron and I'm gonna show you kind of some fun ways that you can actually create some fun shapes. The first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is actually how you hold the iron. I see a lot of people um, use this iron and they say, oh, well, I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I've never been able to get the grip of this iron right. So I see a lot of people taking the iron and getting their fingers stuck here and or like 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 this and then they can't move the iron. I wanted to show you how I grip the Marcel iron and use it. So you'll see it has the lever here and I hold my my index finger in and I grip the rest of the handle with the other three fingers. And I simply roll, I roll the iron with all of my fingers and when I'm ready to lift that lever, I stick my finger, my index finger and I lift with all of my four fingers here. When you're spinning the iron, these fingers should not get caught in the lever area. You should, it should be very fluid how this works. And just, like I said, whenever you're ready to lift that lever, I put my index finger on the bottom and I lift with all four of those fingers. And you should be able to come here and move that lever with your thumb too. It should be very fluid. It practice makes perfect. And uh, that's just a little quick tutorial about how I grip the Marcel iron. I so now I'll go on to why I think this is the most essential iron that you can have in your kit. Well, it's one of the ones I use the most. I have a hair piece that I colored. It's just a little topper. Let's see if you can, you can move this guy so you can see closer to her. So for a beach wave, a standard beach wave, you're going to curl the center of that hair like that. And the way that I release it is I release it just like that, one curl at a time, and then I take that end and I pull it out. So you're really just curling that center portion of the hair and that's going to really create that beach wave. And if you want more of a traditional wave, you're going to take little bit of hair and you're going to curl toward the face and that's going to give you that Hollywood wave and you're going to curl all the way down to the end with this one. Let it sit on for a few seconds. You can either pin this or if you want a looser Hollywood wave you can brush those out. And then if you wanted to do a wand curl, this turns into a wand if you wrap the hair around the barrel. So say you forgot your wand at home and you're like, oh, I don't need a wand. Take it and just simply wrap around the barrel to create that wand curl. Sit it on for a few seconds. And there you have another curl. So you have three curl types at this point using one iron, the one inch Marcel iron. So now I'm going to go into some fun, cool little techniques that I've been using on her lately. So three different curl techniques right there. There's really cool creative things that you can do with this iron and one of them is forming textures that we might not think about. So how I do the first one is I take a small amount of hair and I will just clamp the Marcel down and I'll rock the hair back and forth to almost put a crimp in the hair. And you will get a really cool, you see that, that bend in the hair? And then I would just, you can do that every so often, or you can take it right next 
to that same curl you just did, rocking it back and forth against the clamp. And you create this really beautiful bubble shape that you can get just from this iron. And you can use it for an editorial shoot. You can use it as a fun way to style a, a vivid color that'll make it stand alone. And you see that really pretty texture? Once you brush it out, it's got this really nice, almost airy feel to it. It's very cool. After that, you flip the barrel upside down. Do the exact same thing here, but you're flipping it the other direction. So take the same amount of hair, and you're going to flip the barrel upside down. And you're gonna rock back and forth, just like I did with that one, except it's the opposite direction. And I'm just gonna go with this one. I like to take this and separate the crimps a little bit further apart to create more of like that divot in the hair. So, and then you can spread that apart and it almost looks like, like a egg crate or something that does, which I love. So there are, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five different really cool ways or techniques that you can use your Marcel iron and just kind of get creative. Oh, here's another little fun tip. You've got frizzies, which she has some little frizzies up here. Just take your barrel at, at you know, not super high heat, probably like 380, and rub those flat flyaways down. Spray a little spray on it and just roll that barrel on the top of the hair and it'll make a really, really nice sleek look. All right guys, I hope that you've enjoyed me showing you my favorite ways to use my favorite tool. Thank you guys so much for watching. More to come um, while we sit at home during this time and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys, thanks so much.